The next agent framework that we have is the IBM B agent framework. Now IBM's B agent framework is an open source platform developed to build and manage scalable AI agents and workflows. It allows developers to create agents that leverage various large language models, LLMs and tools to handle complex tasks in an efficient and structured manner. The framework is designed to be model agnostics, meaning it supports different AI models and it is not tied to any specific provider, helping developers avoid vendor lock-in. Now, what are the key features of the B agent framework? First, modular AI agents. The framework comes with built-in agents or allows developers to create their own, making it highly customizable. Your tool integration. B supports a variety of tools for tasks like web search, example DuckDuckGo, and weather retrieval, example Open Meteo. And we are going to check these ones, which can be integrated into workflows. Memory management. The framework offers different memory strategies, optimizing the agent's ability to retain to re retain state between interactions while keeping token cost low. Sandboxed code execution. You can safely execute code within sandbox environment, making it suitable for applications requiring computational task or code interpretation. Traceability and observability. B provides visibility into the inner workings of agents, allowing developers to trace all actions, interactions, and decisions made by the agent. Persistence. Workflows can be paused and resumed without losing state. Ideal for long-running tasks or workflows requiring human-in-the-loop interactions. Error handling and caching. The framework includes robust mechanisms for managing errors and optimizing repeated actions through caching, ensuring reliable agent performance. Also something to know is B's multi-agent approach allows complex tasks to be broken down and handled by specialized agents which work together under the guidance of an orchestrator. This makes the framework powerful for enterprise applications like software assistance or autonomous flows. To get started with B, you can install it via NPM or YARN, define agents using its built-in tools, and deploy them to serve real-time requests. B is also integrated with popular LLMs such as OpenAI, making it suitable for applications across a variety of domains. So let's get started. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. So how do we use B agent framework to build and run an AI agent? There are a bunch of steps that will follow. First step is installation. Step two is import and set up the agent. Step three is invoke the agent. Step four will enhance with observability. Then step five, I'll show you how to run it locally. Step six is advanced usage. And step seven is deploy and monitor. So let's get started into the hands-on. Step one, installation. You need to install the B agent framework via NPM or YARN. This will set up the necessary components to build and run agents. So I'm gonna just give you one example. I'm gonna open terminal, make it a little bigger so it's visible. And here I can say NPM install B dash agent dash framework. Run this and this will install our B framework. Now, if you want to use YARN, you do the same thing yarn add b dash agent dash framework so that's the command for that once this is done what you can do is you can import and set up the second step which was import and set up the agent so what i'm going to do is in the next step is which is importing the necessary modules uh, and create your agent you can use pre-built tools like DuckDuckGo search or open meteor for weather queries so let's go ahead and uh, create a quick example of how to do that. So I'm gonna open Sublime Text. I'm gonna save this on my desktop. I'm gonna say b, btest.js, it's JavaScript file. Let's make sure that everything ran fine here. So it was installed, that's good. Now here, I'm gonna run the commands. I mean, import first one to import the b agent. What I do is b agent from, where is it available? It's available in my, b dash agent dash framework uh, slash agents uh, slash b slash agent 
so that will import my B agent. Next thing that I want to do is import. Uh, we'll import the OL Llama OL Llama chat uh, LLM. So for that, I'll say O L L A M A chat LLM from uh, again this comes from the same one but oops b agent framework and inside there we have adapters and inside adapters we have this is one of the adapter in there which is o l a m a olama slash chat so that will take care of that perfect next one that we need is the token memory import token memory and this comes from again same b agent framework uh, b agent framework slash memory slash token memory slash or i think that's uh, yeah token memory next i need to get uh, duckduckgo search tool that i can say import duck duck go search tool from again same b b agent framework uh, slash tools it's inside the tools folder of that and it's inside search and it's the duck duck go search so this will help you with searching stuff and then last one i was said the open material tool okay so we'll do open so weather this is what is used m-e-t-e-o tool from and luckily these are available in our b framework so we don't have to actually write any of these tools and this is under weather and inside weather it's open m e t e o so that will take care of all our imports now next is initializing the llm memory and tools so i'm gonna say constant llm equal to new this is my llm chat ol olama chat that's what i use um, so in this uh, user specific lm model uh, which in this case what we're using is the llama 3.1 so that should make uh, make good for our project memory i am going to say new token memory and this needs my llm so i am going to pass the llm as the parameter inside so that's good next i need my tools which is the duck duck go search and uh, open material so i'm going to say new Duck, duck, go search tool and new open material tool. So that's that. And finally, let's set up the B agent. To set up the B agent, I'm going to say constant agent equal to new B agent. And this B agent needs parameters, which is LLM. It needs the memory and it needs the tools. So I'll provide those. That's good. So this is how you can import and set up the agent. So next step in this particular project is to invoke the agent. Now, if you want to invoke the agent, uh, you can run the agent to handle user queries. Uh, here's how you invoke the agent and retrieve the results in in this case, um, the agent will provide the current weather in a specific location using the open material tool. So I'll show you that example. I'll just write it here below itself. I want to open another file. Response equal to await. And I'm going to call the agent that I've created. And this inside this, I can whoop, new agent. And I'll say dot run. This is the function that I'll call over there. These are the different parameters or callback methods that it has. I'm going to say prompt is, I'm going to say 
what's the current weather in Atlanta and I will say observe uh, observe inside my observe function uh, I will send an emitter this will observe whatever happens and I'll say emitter dot on when it fires up I am going to say update is async is the second parameter needs an async where it will provide back the data the update and the metadata for that and this will come back inside the function that will write which will say console.log and inside that I can use the special care special quotes and I'll say agent and pass the value here update dot key inside there and close this and give slash this and then pass update dot value in here value in here that's all I need to do so this will make sure the observer is on and finally after everything is done let's make sure that like to make sure my semicolons are properly closed and then I'll say console.log and inside this I'll say agent response what was the response of this query here comma response dot result dot text let's move it up so you can see clearly response dot result dot text so this will help us give invoke the agent and get the data out of it now step four in our case was to enhance with observability now if I want to add some more observability observability to the agent what I'm going to do here is um, so what B provides uh, is a built-in observability feature so you can trace the decision making process of your agent to use this feature you can integrate the observer to log the intermediate steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say agent dot observe, which is similar to this here. So agent dot observe emitter, and I'll remove the update and method. Update it passes the data console dot log, and you can just say update and here pass the data that we got so this is an example of adding an observer to log updates in real time so that's that you can add it here on your server side where you're writing that code step one is run locally step five is to run locally so to run the agent locally you'll have to follow different steps first step is to clone the repository if you want to uh, work for examples so that is available in I think the agent framework in github so I can it's called IMB B agent framework I hope this will give me yep there you go that's the one so you can clone this one uh, I can copy this and can go here and say go to my desktop for now and I can say get clone get at the rate the usual command is I can directly get it from there but I can just say github.com colon I uh, B framework dot get enter so to clone my could not read from the repository permission denied I think I have not added my github but this is the command to kind of get it from there you can also get that command from here you would probably see you can also download it directly if you don't want to clone it you can download this if I click this it will download the zip for me and I'll have it or you can of course as I mentioned you can clone it to your from this particular repository location which we did so that's the first step next step is to install the dependencies so you can just say uh, yawn install to install the dependency next to start the agent the command is yarn run start b so that's how you can start this so this is how you can run a b uh, framework locally next step or step six 
is to um, is the advanced usage now b allows you to create dynamic tools manage workflows and include human in the loop mechanisms for advanced use cases uh, you can explore different features like this custom tools where you can create your own tools by defining specific functions your agent can execute then we have uh, memory strategies where you can adjust memory settings to handle long running sessions and token optimization we also have code execution b supports code uh, interpretation in a sandbox environment useful for uh, executing python or javascript code dynamically let's look at example of, a, of of a custom tool you can create a custom tool to add more functionality to your agent like how we use the tools uh, which were available which were uh, our uh, uh, duckduckgo and open Mateo. you can also create your own uh, tools for that first you'll have to let me just say import you can import the tool from now where do we have our tools here for example i'll just copy this here because most agents and then from tools that's what we do now if you want to define a custom tool i can say constant uh, i can call it let's say custom tool and what does my tool do i can give that use that tool and then pass the name of the tool custom tool and then I can create the functionality of what it does so first thing that I need to provide is description and uh, description is custom tool to handle let's say specific tasks and uh, I'll have to give the run of what happens when someone runs it async it takes the input in whatever input is provided and in here i will handle that and return let's say i'll call it handled task with input and say dollar input so that's my uh, tool now to add it to the agents tool what you have to do is below it you can say agent dot add tool or we have created the agent below so it's always best to after the agent agent dot add tool and i'm going to say new whatever the name of my tool is which is custom tool so now we have three tools here duckduckgo open Mateo, and the custom tools added to our b agent next let's look at uh, uh, next step next step is deploy and monitor where once you have built your agent you can deploy it and monitor its performance the b framework supports integration with monitoring tools to track agent performance in uh, in production environments um, so that kind of completes our step-by-step hands-on for the b agent framework if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you and let's move to the next uh, agent next framework